Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. If you guys are new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button because I have made it a goal of mine to try to hit 25K by November 25th, which is my birthday. So if you like my content, definitely subscribe. Um, it is currently 7 p.m. I had every intention of starting this vlog way earlier in the day, but then I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take this day to have like a little chill day, not really doing too much work um, because I only work Monday through Thursday at my like part-time job, which is like my real job. If you guys don't know, I do videography and photography on the side and grad season is just now like slowing down. Um, it got extended you know, because of coronavirus and stuff. So everyone like pushed their shoots back a little bit. Um, so that is kind of like slowing down. So I just kind of wanted to give myself like a little bit of a break. Um, and I took a nap today, which was super nice. And I just watched like a lot of YouTube. So there wasn't really too much to vlog, but tonight is day night. So I wanted to start off the vlog here. We're gonna go get unlimited sushi at Sushi Genai. If y'all live in Austin or are visiting, I highly recommend coming to Sushi Genai because in the unlimited deal, it's like $32 or something, which is like definitely a splurge like we don't do it all the time but it is such a good price for what you get because you are able to get like sashimi not maybe not sashimi but I definitely know you're able to get nigiri and like all the specialty rolls so like most of the time when you have like unlimited sushi it's like at you know not the nicest buffet or like the rolls are just not the specialty rolls but this place like you can literally get anything off the menu it's crazy so I'm really excited and I have on my flowy dress so I can eat as much as I want. This is my outfit of the night. I have just this long casual black dress, but I feel like Brian was like, wow, you look fancy, but it's just kind of like a summer dress. It has like the ruching on the top. I just got this from Forever 21 and same with my shoes. I really like these because they have like a low heel. So yeah, that is my outfit of the night. Good morning y'all, it is Saturday. I didn't really vlog last night because I actually forgot that I was vlogging except that I got the sushi shots. It was so good, it was so good, but I definitely felt like crap <laughs> after I ate all that sushi, but it was so worth it. I think we might go shopping today. We don't really have any plans. I wanted to go to the pool at first, but then I was like, you know what, I need to put on makeup and do some like content stuff, which I always say that. And then whenever I put on makeup, I'm just like, dang, I need to like edit the videos I have before I like make more videos. But me and Ryan are actually gonna go back home to Georgia later this month. So I wanted to like pre-film a lot so I can like post while I'm there in Georgia. Like I'll definitely do vlogs there, but um, just like my sit down videos and stuff. Ryan's out playing golf right now. So it gives me time to work on my stuff, which is nice. I like encourage him to go to golf because I feel like whenever he is home like I get so distracted just because I want to like hang out with him or just like nap <laughs> um, but it is so nice outside like I don't know what temperature it is but it is beautiful and especially on my porch because it's like obviously in the shade it feels so great so I'm gonna go work out there and figure out what I actually need to film and like what I need to edit just kind of organize my life um, because I definitely want to post more also last night I was talking to Ryan and I was like I have so many like funny weird like crazy photography stories and I don't know like if I should do a story time of them or like what I don't know if like story times are even a thing anymore or like do you guys even like hearing about like photography and stuff I feel like I have a lot of knowledge in it so I definitely like want to post more of those kind of videos but just let me know what y'all think don't mind Sophie looking a little bit crusty she needs a bath today or tomorrow but Sophie actually lost a tooth show them there's like a little gap in between her teeth right there. She lost a freaking tooth. It was so wiggly and We just like looked at it one day and it was just not there This is my setup I got this little rocking chair thing it actually like swings back and forth um, From Walmart and I'll try to link it down below. I'm not sure if they still have it, but it's really nice um, and then I have this little, um, I thought it was going to be more of like a puff, but it is like hard plastic, but it still does the job. And then this one actually came with that. So that's just like kind of like a coffee table. I feel like I definitely want to revamp the patio when I get the chance, but for now this will do. And Sophie joined me. I'm 
so proud of myself. I edited a whole video and did like some animations, which was great. And now I'm just doing the thumbnail. And I saw this on, I, I want to say TikTok. I feel like it was TikTok or Twitter or something like that. Um, but I just wanted to share this little tip that I learned. Um, so basically when I make my thumbnails, I'm usually cutting something out, whether that's me or like an object that I took a picture of, like a glass of wine or something. Then I'll take that object and put it on like another picture or like a background that I found on Google, which is the case this time, or that's what I'm thinking. We'll see how it looks. I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to cut yourself out like that. I have this picture right here and this is the background layer. I'm going to tap it twice like click it twice and just press ok that makes it a layer now you have to go to the toolbar and you'll usually see this this is most likely like the default quick selection tool but if you hold it down you will see other options and we're going to click this object selection tool and basically you literally just like click and drag on the object that you want to cut out and it literally selects everything for you i don't know if you can see that well enough then all you have to do is click and drag yourself or the object onto another little project layer um, and then kind of just drop it in and you can use the scale button sorry it's like kind of loud there's like birds and cars and everything <laughs> so yeah and it's a really like good selection too like there's not really that many like jagged lines so that's awesome and if you did want to like cut out like this little thing over here you can just um go back to this quick selection tool and do quick, quick selection and then just go in and select that and delete it and bam that was super easy way faster than what i've ever done before so if you guys do make your own thumbnails and use photoshop hopefully that helped you all out i'm currently struggling to decide what my outfit is going to be today I just published my video. Oh my god, I cannot do this with one hand. We have this option, headband. It's really cute. This is my outfit for now. I don't know if it like matches the vibe or if it like fits it, but I'm wearing Air Force Ones, these jeans, and um, this top from Boohoo or something. It's a bodysuit, so I don't know. What do you think? Or should I do a hat? We'll see. They're all pretty big. <laughs> I don't know if it matches because I'm wearing like tennis shoes. Wait, come come and look at this. You know what the Air Force is? What? You know what the Air Force ones? Yeah, I didn't think so either. You know that black hat that I tell you to wear all the time? That hat? Which one? The one that I always want you to wear. Which one? It's black. <laughs> Show me. Come bring it. You have to wear the makeup off with that. Ryan, I'm not wiping my makeup off. <laughs> He's so particular about his hats. As he should be, but... <laughs> I kind of like the headband. It's like, I don't even know when the last time I washed my hair was. Oh, Wednesday, and it is currently Saturday. And I keep spraying, like, this dry shampoo stuff in it. And I'm kind of surprised it's actually, like, alive. Is that kind of weird? Mm -mm. I think made it tighter than it's supposed to be. Then that looks so much weirder. Oh, wait, that's kind of cute. Should I do it? Mm -hmm. This is very out of my element. Okay. What does it even say? Harvest Crusade. It was a thing in the 90s for a bunch of Christians came to like the stadium and worship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the domain. Hopefully the stores aren't still boarded up slash so closed and we can actually do some shopping. I really want to like find better jeans that are actually high-waisted and like those straight-legged kind of jeans that that fits better. Put it on straight. And so that is what I'm going to be looking for today and we also need to return something i got ryan something for his birthday present i got him like these shirts from cuts and they just didn't fit him so we have to return them and i'm sad because i always get him something that doesn't fit i decided to go with the headband i feel like the hat was just not me but i don't know maybe on another day because i feel like my hair looks good today and i don't want to cover it up but we stopped by wendy's and i just remembered that they have the spicy chicken nuggets back so we got those and frosty We're currently in line for Nespresso. There are these new like iced coffee pods or something. Yeah. So I guess they use more coffee, less water. So you can water them down with ice. So we're gonna check them out. The 
denim hunt is not going so well so far but I just saw this walking past it. They're putting in a pressed juicery. I haven't tried it, or maybe I have. I can't remember where we went in California, but I think it's like an LA thing, which they have so many stores that I feel like would only be in California, like Fabletics and just other ones that are at the domain, which is pretty cool. We're in Zara and I wanted to search for their straight leg jeans and they don't have many but this is my size and I'm, I'm a size 12 so their fitting rooms are unfortunately closed right now but I think I'm just going to get them and hope they fit. <laughs> We're gonna head to the pool and I wanted to show you guys this swimsuit because I uh, like unboxed it in one of my vlogs and you guys wanted to see the fit. So this is it. I actually got it off of Amazon and it was pretty affordable. The quality is really, really good. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from Cup She and it has this cute little cutout on the side. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's like a mauve color, like a pink mauve deal. Yeah, I really like it. I just showered and I'm so glad we got to go to the pool. We were going at like 5.40 and the pool was supposed to close because of like coronavirus. They're like closing our pool earlier these days. And it was supposed to close at like six and they didn't close at six. So I was like very happy. We got like a ton of time at the pool. So I got my tan for the day. And the first product I'm gonna be using is a green monster face oil from Clean Your Dirty Face. I love using face oil, especially after I go to the pool, just get a tan. I feel like it looks so pretty and just like glowy. Next, I think I'm just gonna do, I just have like a couple of like little blemishes but i don't know i don't know if like everything's too orange for my face okay whatever this is the makeup forever ultra hd stick i love this thing i honestly don't use it every day because i'm like being greedy with it and there's like not much um left over but i love to just like cover up like little things and then i'm gonna just beauty blend that are i'm just gonna use my beauty blender a little mm, that didn't really help honestly I'm gonna put some Glossier blush on. This is the color Storm and it's the cloud paint. It's like a cream blush. I haven't used this in a really long time. I don't know if that was like too much. I'm just gonna blend this out actually. Maybe I can transfer some over here. Oh, oh my God, that's so uneven. Good. Good thing it like blends out like pretty good amount. I like it, it's like very like a natural like blush. I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but I still have those blemishes that I still wanna get rid of, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this foundation from NARS. But I'll try to cover those up. We'll just use the Roller Lash by Benefit. This is like one of my favorite all-time mascaras. Like I've been using this for years. <laughs> I have this Brow Flick by Glossier. I'm using a lot of Glossier today. But this one is just gonna like make little hair strokes. This chapstick is Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment and I got it as like a gift from Sephora and it is honestly the best chapstick. I looked at the price because I was supposed to get it during the Sephora VIB sale but I realized I wasn't like rouge so I was like eh, I'll just like wait to get it another time um, but I definitely need to get this. Um, honestly I could have gotten it today. I was at the domain. They probably had a Sephora open um, but then I'm going to use this cork lip pencil from MAC and just give my lips a little bit of color. This is the completed look. I will have all of the products that I mentioned linked down below. And now it is time to call the restaurant that I want to eat at to see if they have a wait or if they take like reservations or like call ahead. So I wanted to quickly show you guys the jeans I got today at Zara. So these are called the straight leg jeans, I'm pretty sure. And they are so cute. I'm so glad they fit. I am a size 12 and yeah they fit pretty nicely i mean they're like i wouldn't say they're stretchy but there's like a little bit of room i definitely think like they're going to be more comfortable than like a lot of the other boyfriend jeans i've had in the past to like sit down in overall i would not wear these as like comfy jeans but i still think they're so stylish i've been wanting these like raw hemline 
pants for so long so i'm really excited about that and i kind of want to like pull out a few more strings on the bottom just because i feel like it could be a little bit more like distressed i also appreciate how high-waisted these are because i'm just like not going to ever go back to low-waisted or like mid-rise jeans i guess if that's what they're called these jeans were 40 bucks and honestly i feel like that's pretty affordable compared to like what is on the market right now like the goldie jeans and like levi's they're all so much more expensive like a hundred dollars or more so i feel like these are really affordable um and i'll definitely link them down below so this is what they look like i'll kind of show you up close and this is what the back looks like super just like straight and like boxy looking but i guess it is the style right now so i'm gonna go ahead and take these tags off um and then we're gonna go head to dinner We just got to Gloria's, we got patio seating. It is like a really perfect day. It feels so good that I went to the pool, got my tan. Now I'm gonna eat some good food, some chips and salsa. Their chips and salsa are amazing. We're also gonna get margaritas because we heard that they were really good too. You, made a you know, you, <laughs> you wanna know what that face was? What? On the table right in front of us, I noticed I was vlogging it and they both looked at me. There was someone in uh, the domain noticed you and she was like, and it's like you, when you're doing this press that thing, she was like so like weirded like, out by it. Really? She didn't want to say anything. <clears throat> Just wanted to come on here on the vlog. I'm like a little halfway down and um, I'm really feeling it. <clears throat> so if I wasn't a lightweight already, quarantine has definitely made me and even more lightweight, which is honestly great because less calories, less money. It's a win-win. She's been crying and laughing. <laughs> so she wants to marry me. <laughs> Gloria always hits the spot. We just got done and Ryan apparently accidentally paid for parking till like Monday. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk around and just enjoy sunset downtown. It's currently 10 p.m. and before I get all ready for bed and get in bed because I'm so tired right now, I need to pull some looks for tomorrow because me and my friend Cicely are shooting in the morning um, in Mueller, I think. And we're just gonna shoot a couple outfits just to get some content um, because I realized that my grid is like literally just all my face and I'm like over it. I want more like outfit pictures and I feel like you know, people can really tell my style if they see like my full on outfit. So I'm going to pull some looks for that, but I will try to vlog tomorrow and show you guys some outfits um, then. So I'm going to be closing out this vlog just so I can like concentrate, get that done and get into bed because I'm like so ready for bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys are not already, follow me on Instagram. It is so underscore gnarly without the G and you can see more of my life on there. I post on stories and all that fun stuff, so go follow me over there, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!